Yes, podcasters, welcome to it. Guess who's back, everybody? Guess who's back well, in the, the mother- house? Back. <laughs> we With are a back, 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 back again. Oh. Sorry. I like big back and again alive. alive. No back. I like big backs. Big back. Oh, I'm because I'm back. back. Oh, I do. Oh, like like and I do back, have like a big in... back. Baby got mm. back. Do ya? Baby got back. Have you not seen the size of my ass? I mean back. I mean my bum. Oh, not my back. Whoa, Jesus. Not like a big bum. Big um, girl. She's big. She's a big girl. All right. <laughs> big girl. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, John? I'm talking about Aussie lads copper, copper banning from five Las Vegas casinos. That That's coming up in the podcast. Oh, you mean in the show? Oh, okay. That's weird. Yeah. And I also did a fun story about a nun decking someone. That was very fun. Yeah, but you were a bit angry because you got proven wrong again during that bit. Oh, are you all right, Joel? Um, I've Your head was spinning. <laughs> no, it was spinning. No, it, was spinning. <laughs> it wasn't spinning, mate. You it was spinning cracked the sads and I said, you got to suck it. <laughs> suck what? Suck it. 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 What's it? Suck what it. 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 Be specific. Mm. It. Suck it. I need to know what I'm sucking before I suck it. Well, that's what, and I've not heard that before. It's called consent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you said to the glory hole. <laughs> oh, you, where would Try I that. find a glory hole? Oh, at all the places you go? Every place you go? <laughs> all the places? I don't go anywhere. I don't leave the house. I don't. Last well, night I well, okay. had Jennifer Aniston night. Well, the fr- oh, what did you watch? <laughs> morning. Our morning wars because girlfriend loves Jennifer Aniston because they've both she? got fabulous hair. She's got good yeah. taste. You might not leave yeah. the house though, but why is your peep hole on your door down here? <laughs> For you when you come over. <laughs> you're so little. <laughs> you can see in. Enjoy the podcast, everybody. <laughs> Glory help. Okay, well. <laughs> this is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Tim to the best I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best show in my whole life. Hanging out with friends. Wow. With the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. So what? Who cares? What? Don't look at me like that. Hello, friends. Hey, Welcome Ricky. back. I Welcome really missed back. you guys. I was gone for just one day. Yeah. I know. I saw you glamour pussing it up with Samantha Armitage and um, and all Marsha the seven. Hines. Yep, all the seven gals. I was in there with Shervo and Nat. Are you and the new Larry wife on and... Farmer Wants a Wife? Is no, that... I've already got myself a husband, and yeah. he's not a he's farmer. Certainly not a farmer. <laughs> What's the Are opposite the of a cow? farmer? <laughs> Uh, 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 a wonderful couch sitter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh, one, a, man, a manager wants a wife. There you go. Nice. Uh, no, I know. It's nice to have you back. I mean, it was a boys' club yesterday. So much testosterone in here. Yeah. Ooh. What did you guys talk about? Oh, no. Joy we'll, Behar, of yeah. course. Whoopi yeah. Goldberg and the girls. <laughs> yeah. 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 You did. You did. You did. Um, Larry Emder um, told me to tell you boys how much he, he loves you both. And that he Aww. loves our show. That That's so nice. He's the nicest I love guy. Laz and Kylie. Yeah. Yep. Me and Kylie were running around trying to find champagnes. I was. I got us lost backstage. Oh, so you weren't oh. working then yesterday? <laughs> well, that was when we'd finished the event. At 2 p.m.? No. It wasn't 2 p.m. 2 <laughs> It was not. No, that was at like 5, 5.45 or something. Oh, okay. So you could have come down the last 15 minutes. Yeah. It would have been great. <laughs> yeah. It would have been awesome. Crossing <laughs> Sydney in you peak hour traffic. Kylie in. Yeah, I know. I could have bought the cash cow. No. Why we shot liver? Come. No, because oh, no. I went, the upfronts I was there with all of the bosses and all the, the big wigs and the advertisers, you know, pressing the and flesh. And Chris Brown doing Dancing with the Stars like we all thought? He is. He oh, is. It's so very exciting. Who, so who's working the hardest at Channel 7? You, Dr. Chris Brown or Sonia Kruger? I mean, Sonia is, you know, just an absolute machine and she's amazing. I, I love her so yeah. much. So, I, I, I mean, I would say she works pretty hard. Mm-hmm. Um, the hardest. Nat's pretty hard working. Yeah. I mean, they get up at... Like midnight. Yeah. <laughs> like gross o'clock. No, yeah. thanks. No. Poor well, things. It's nice to have you back. Um, it's a quick draw day today. <laughs> Uh, yes, and also wow. your last chance, your last chance to see Kylie in Vegas. We're giving away that trip tomorrow. Oh, amazing! Um, can I tell you something? Yes, you'll be very excited because you. Right I, I feel like yeah, I feel like you wanted confirmation of this. You know the special thing you told us about about Marsha Hines. You know the secret oh, my thing. Goodness. Yes, the yes, special yes. secret thing. Yeah. Well, can we confirm it next? Sure. No, tell me. Okay. No, 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 I, I, I can't, can't wait. No, I can't wait. So as we were leaving, Marsha was bending over to get something out oh my of God, her love bag. love when she bends over. And I looked over and there it was! The oh, my God! Marsha! Yeah! I 
love her. I told you. I saw it with These my own two eyes. Lie. No. Wow. There you go. <laughs> we love it. We love her. If you're a proud owner of a tramp stamp, call us on 132410 <laughs> yeah. and sing yeah, its praises. <laughs> Give us a call right now. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. English girl in an American town. I love that. Thank you, Ed. Just a beautiful little song about an English girl just hanging around. A little ditty. Where, where, where was the English girl? She was watching Friends on t- oh. TV with Ed. Okay. Yeah, watching Friends but Where? On TV like, before. where in the world in was Amer- the Eng- English girl? In America, in an American oh, town. Of in an American <laughs> town. Jesus. Great. Mm. Wish I knew where she was from. It's in the title. <laughs> what, what specific? You want like longitude and latitude? Yeah, I do. I want more specific. Because she was wearing a dungaree. American town. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what she was, was she wearing? wearing? So maybe she was in South South America. Like yeah, st- the southern part. <laughs> what was she wearing? What does she look like? What colour is her hair? What colour are her oh eyes? Gosh. How tall is she? What, uh, but uh, what did she well, study in I think, uni? Ricky, I think the English girl is whoever you want her to be. I what? think oh. she is different to person to person. I always think of the girl that Ed's talking about though as the sir 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 oh, lady. Sasha. What's her name? Sasha. The, um, the lady that was in the Galway Girl film clip. Sasha. Sasha Ronan. Sasha. You know, uh, Ron- Sasha Ronan Keating. <laughs> was she in Vigil? But she's not an English no. girl. She's oh, that was a Irish. Submarine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got the word submarine. I'm sure confused. They, I know mother. they obviously get confused for each other on the streets. Yeah, sorry, my I bad. Is that a submarine or Sasha Ronan? Sasha. I'm not sure. Yeah, it can't be her because she's Irish. Sorry to burst your bubble. Is there another Channel oh 7 God. thing on you can go to? Because um, yeah. yesterday was uh, so much more chill. Yeah. Uh, Are you hosting today tonight or something now? Oh, oh sorry. Your phone's ringing. Oh, it's uh, not. No, no, it's not. Uh, oh, it's not. That must be yours. Okay. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, now listen to this. Leslie, sorry, Leanne, um, you, we have Leanne and Tracy here because we, we got some great confirmation. Even yeah. though I did say I saw Marsha Hines I, I believed dance. you. But then it's kind of one of those things where you're like, a bit of a rock trick back in the day. Yeah, I didn't realise. Yeah. And I, I got to see one of Marsha's new videos and it's all this like footage of her as a young and Now I understand why, where the tramp stamp comes from. She yeah, was a yeah. wild, wild party girl back then. Leanne, Marcia. sing your tramp stamps praises. <laughs> I have Bon Jovi. <gasps> bon Jovi, yes. Dawn Fraser. How? Why? <laughs> what does it look like? A picture is of him, the words? Face? Is it a lyric? No, it's... It's a heart and dagger. The heart and dagger. He did a couple of oh, about ten years ago oh, yeah. now. So I did that. Living on a prayer. I love you, Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> you can can you please send us a photo? Best friend. I can send you the yeah, photo. Yeah, do that. We'll give you something if you do that. Thank you so much, Leanne. It. That's so good. Okay, Tracy, that's going to be a very hard one to beat. <laughs> so yeah, Mains was my favourite soccer team from Breton. But the best what was, she told me it would last five years, and 23 years later, I still have it. Oh, no. oh my goodness. Bridget, who's only last five years? <laughs> Made up once. <laughs> Made yeah, up she once. Said it would last, no, she said it would last five years um, because it wasn't penetrating the skin, yada, yada, yada. But 23 years later, it's still there. She's a liar, are you still going Tracy. For, are you still going for the same team? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you oh, have to now. Yeah. And what, what part of the world are you from, Tracy? Glasgow. Oh, so you're not you're not the English girl in the American town that Ed Sheeran was no, singing about. Not, you know, no, you're Scottish. No, yeah. that's cool. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah, Ricky's got questions. Yeah, yeah, I've got questions. If if there if the English girl from that American town is around, I've got questions. <laughs> apparently, it's about, apparently it's about his wife, Cherry, Cherry Sheeran. Cherry, oh, that's Cherry, right. Cherry Sheeran. I love Give Cherry Sheeran. Give us a call, Cherry. Cherry, better in 2014, you little <laughs> boo fang. <laughs> Welcome back, Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. It's a Thursday afternoon. It's a Cersei Ronan afternoon. Let me tell you. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. On Nova. Yes, Paul Russell. I love it. It's a little boo thing. A little boo thing. I feel weird saying it, but that's how he wants me to say it. What's the name of the song? A little boo thing. Like you say, English girl in an American town, just fine. Why can't you say a little boo thing? A little boo thing. I mean, and it is, it is October. It is Halloween. Maybe it's a little boo. Oh, that was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Boo. Mm, that's yeah. good. Boo. Boo. Are we doing our pumpkin carving this year? You ask that all the time. You know, the Australian it's my farmers. my favourite day of the year. The Australian farmers would prefer we do pineapples. Have you seen those stories? No, like we're floating not around? carving No, pineapples. I know, but do you see that those stories floating around? I think, what I are think they? that people, there's too many pineapples, Ricky. Oh, no. Yeah, there's way too many pineapples. Oh. Yeah. I could fix what? that. I'll put them in a pina colada. 
Oh, yeah, I love a pina colada. Well, that'll solve that, that, that. That is one that we can account for. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> done. I've done my bit. Now you do yours. <laughs> Apparently pears and pineapples. But people aren't buying pears anymore and there's too many pineapples. I can't oh, eat pears. Why? I love pears. I can't That's eat good. pears. No, I want she pears much. as well. Absolute no, she vodka. Pears. Oh, my God. I had too much pear absolute vodka yeah. once. Oh. Yeah, I can't even eat a pear. You can't even eat the actual fruit. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, pears are lovely, but people aren't even growing pears anymore because no one's buying them. Oh, well, I don't yeah. want to say this because it's because of the, the pineapple crisis, but I don't really like pineapple because it burns my tongue. <gasps> I love pineapple. It's also really pineapple. complicated. Like you have to cut half of it off and then throw that bit in the bin. I like it for decoration in the kitchen. A pineapple looks good in the kitchen. And it means swingers. If you've got a pineapple outside your house, it means oh, come on in. Your swinger. Your little boo thing. Maybe yeah. there aren't as many swingers around. Probably not because you're not allowed to do anything here these days. You get in trouble for everything. <sighs> Bloody 2023. Oh, no, 2023. Oh. Nanny state. Oh. Nanny country we are. <laughs> um, speaking of nanny state and streets, what have you seen um, around your hood? <laughs> 13, 24, 10 is the number. Every day, uh, what have you stuff. seen around your hood on the street? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Loads of stuff. I'm really nosy. I like when things are going on mm. out in the streets, I will do anything I can to get close to the action. Like yeah. people are yelling. Oh, I, I, run, am I run to the window straight away as soon as I hear anything. Straight away. Yeah, all the time. And I'll get my phone out. I'll start voice recording. I'll get I'll, I'll video. <laughs> I heard people. I heard people doing it on my street one time. Did I walk oh up the gosh. driveway? Sure. Mm, hey, <laughs> really? so street. Yeah. I love it. Um, Doing it in a car. Your new place would be in heaven. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. We're in the city now and I can see so many things, like people that have had too much of Everything. whatever. Yeah. And they're like in the middle of the road, laying down, dancing, oh my gosh, yelling. That sounds like South Melbourne. Fighting Our in the park. Are. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's so fighting good. Fighting in the park. Yeah, like teenagers just fighting. Yeah. It's like, meet me at the park. I'm going to get you. Yeah, I People love still it. do that. Meet me in the park, I'll know. get you. I'm 30. Yeah. Not that I ever did that. million years old. I don't really know. You're 40. You Taylor Hanson told me. I'm not 40. I'm not 40. I'm not 40. I'm young. I'm a spring chicken. Yeah, you're, you're pretty much 40. That's just so I'm that. not. It's like I'm old mate over here steaming through his 30s. Oh, uh, that's, that's, sorry, yeah, but he I'm is closer steamy. to 30. No, I'm not steamy from a 30. <laughs> I am closer to 30 than I am 40. Thank you. Just come much. on board. Get on board, guys. It's cool up no, here. When I'm no, 40. No, your, tra- your train is gone. Your train is long. Yeah, long. you're out of here. You're pretty much 50 now. So. Oh, that's yeah. Watch ridiculous. Watch out, old man. Shush up, old man. Two seconds. <laughs> yeah, you're rocketing towards 50. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool Cool way to rework what I say about you. <laughs> I got you, didn't you? Sorry. Press the button. (laughs) Touch the nerve. Never. I don't have any nerves. Flick me. I don't care. Mm, I'm starting to notice a lot of grey hairs coming through, which isn't (laughs) positive for me. (laughs) Oh, for you. I thought you meant blackers. I was like, oh, but they've been there for years. I know. Yeah, I've got some coming through. Easy. Do you? Yeah. Especially because I've got. I love a sunroof in a car. Like the Mm. cars. Oh, it glistens. Doesn't make sense to have a car without some kind of glass on the roof. Yeah, a solid roof. Gross. (laughs) Are you serious? You know, there's glass now. They invented glass. Oh, I don't like sunroofs. Oh, but you, is it because of your, your uh, sensitive of the, of the skin? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, you, you'd be like, um, you'd, you'd have a sunroof and have the <laughs> always closed, which also thing, makes no I always have the closed, yeah. <laughs> if I, get I currently in... don't have a car with a sunroof or oh, a car no. full stop. Oh, no, <laughs> soft spot, soft spot. If I get in someone's car and they have that closed, I open it straight away and it pisses them off so much. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Why have it? Why have it? Yes, yeah, like taking your wheels off before totally. you drive. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, what's happened in the streets okay. of this person's town? So um, the, you guys know I'm a real meat lover. Love my meat. Oh, yeah, you're, you're the carnivore of the team. Yeah, sausage rolls, pepperoni pizza. Oh, sorry, that wasn't me. I just didn't hear that. Steak, off. lamb. Meat, oh, meat, meat, meat. Sausages, yeah, meat, all the things. Yeah, meats. Um, oh, what about that guy, truffle salami? Don't, oh, that don't, truffle don't leave salami. off that truffle salami that you gave me. Oh, that was very good. And the um, and what's his name? The, Chorizo. Miguel. Miguel Chorizo. Yep, yep. You go come to me if you need any recommendations on meat. <laughs> Small goods. On meat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your, me, your one-stop shop for all things meat. Yeah. Um, so this, this guy in Strathfield was spotted carrying, this is even gross for me, two animal carcasses. I don't know, are they... Are they pigs? <gasps> it's a pig. Oh, my gosh. It's, it's pig. It's headless pig. Headless oh, pigs. So they've been... 
skinned, gutted, <gasps> and he's walking down the street with two of them just on his shoulders. I have so many questions about this. Maybe he's well, without a car at the moment as well. Do they not come in a, some kind of wrapping or a bag? But maybe... Do you not have an outfit that you wear that you doesn't you don't get pig? Intestines all over your clothes. I think they've been gutted. They've certainly been gutted and skinned. Yeah, but they still have things dripping out of them. And you know when you <laughs> sit things out in the sun, they get sweaty, like meat and cheese gets like sweaty in yeah. the sun. Yeah. Oh, Imagine no. how sweaty those things are. Maybe he's only way to a spit roast. Maybe he was, but I just would have thought something like that could be delivered or boxed up. Maybe he's just bought it for his family. Yeah, you think it would come frozen? Yes. Maybe he's Curtis Stone. You know, feed your family for under $10 a day. Oh Those my gosh. two pigs are going to last in the there year. You go. I like it. Maybe it's Julia Morris getting ready for the next season of Mother Celeb. <laughs> She's getting the meats out. <laughs> 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 We've got Kylie next. Your last chance to get in the running to go to Vegas. We're sending someone, we're not sending them tomorrow, but we're giving it away tomorrow. We'll do it on the it's other huge. side of this. Tim and Joel. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Driving you home. Oh my God, that's me right there. On Nova. Yes. Oh, that Vegas high just... It makes me tingle because I want to be Vegas high. I don't want to be high totally. in Vegas. I want to be Vegas high. Vegas what, high. Whatever Kylie means by Vegas high, I want to be that. Yeah, yes. you get a high from being in Vegas just by being there. Maybe she means a Vegas high five. Oh, my God. Oh, high. Down low, too slow. Or is Kylie more of a fist pump kind of well, girl? She, she could only probably lo-fi Kylie because she's very short. <laughs> yeah, true. I reckon uh, she's a double kiss kind of girl. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, not in France. Double kiss. Um, win a trip tomorrow to see Kylie Minogue live in Vegas. Return flights, five nights accommodation, $1,000 to spend. Put it on red, double it. Um, all four. Oh, oh, yeah, you've, you've new switched. Album. Red, not black. Yeah, I switch daily. It's red today. Okay. Well, red's yeah. okay. That's it. You're a company man too. We're red here. You know what time of the month it is for you? Yep. So <laughs> don't get on me wrong side. <laughs> I picked red. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's black. Said red. It's black. Um, hey Michael. Hi Michael. Hello, how are you? Now don't be as confident as our bloke yesterday that came out of the blocks. Hold on a second. Oh, he was in a flat. What happened? Because we had. Oh, the, he, he the was same... in a real hot mess. Oh. What was his name yesterday? Do you remember? Thomas. Philip or something. Thomas. Oh, Philip or something. Oh, yeah, just Thomas. make a. Yeah, bloody Thomas. Oh, he was lovely, but he was in a real fluster and real flap. He was in a real flap yesterday. Aww. Um, Michael, you sing the next line of this Kylie song and you are in tomorrow's Kylie pop quiz to go to Vegas. Are you ready? I am ready. Have you heard of a song called <clears throat> Spinning Around? I've heard of it once or twice, yes. <laughs> sing it. I know you're feeling me because you like it like this. Yes! 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 <laughs> Michael's like, well hold my handbag. I am still singing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michael, you're you are our good. only bloke in tomorrow's Kylie Pop Quiz. You're joining Daniela, yeah. Ellie and Francoise. Oh, my God. Francoise, that's right. Thank She's you so there. much. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. And Goodbye. one of you will be going to Vegas. Let's sing it, Kylie. Let's leave it here. It's spinning around. I can't get rid of this track. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Kylie Minogue. Michael just won his spot in our Kylie Pop Quiz tomorrow. Love it, Michael. Wow, Michael's, Battle Royale. Yeah. Michael sounds like a real OG Kylie fan, you know? Yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I do, as, as a huge Kylie fan myself, I do have to correct you, Black, because it's actually spinning around, not spinning. Oh. Um, wow. Yeah, Is she's just really? a spinning girl. Yeah, fairly she's confident. She's spinning. Wow, not according, to, mm. not according to all the bits of literature I have, but I will take your word for it. Literature? On, on, yes, I, I've got it on my screen. I've got it on, on my... Spotify, it says spinning. Oh. oh. As you, oh let, let me quote Joel Creasy from yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Suck it. Did I say that yesterday? Yeah, you did. Did you? Yeah, I think. Are it, you four years old? I think you I actually did that. say that just to me too. You went, suck it. Yeah, yeah, and you should suck it. Suck yeah, because I'm still fairly sure I'm correct. No, you're not though. There's there's three pieces. Like there's a computer in here. There's my prize sheet, and then there's Ricky's phone. 
spinning. Well, my phone mm. is the the Kylie Minogue Spotify page. Which you would think, think that it would have the. the I think it's actually spinning around and in brackets. Title. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Kylie fan here. I think Kylie banks with, with ING direct because she loves an ing. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, Where actually, someone's, come someone's coming. I think I someone's it. coming in later that I can check with. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Kylie? Yeah. Oh, spinning Uh-oh, around spinning. track one on lightning. <laughs> ah, suck it. <laughs> Suck eggs. Suck eggs. Well, obviously the oh, stupid people that. that run the YouTube page for the Glastonbury Festival have put it up the wrong name because every time I YouTube it at like 2 a.m. when I get home, it says spinning with a oh, little yeah. so apostrophe. A, ra- a random a random YouTube page is where you get it. Sorry, your I get all my sorry, I get off all my facts from Glastonbury. I guess I'm just the Glastonbury fan on the team. So what, what who cares? Apparently the Kylie Glastonbury set's the most watched ever, so that oh, means the wow. most set of eyes ever have yeah, seen Joel watches spinning. Yeah, it all the time. Spinning around. Spinning sure all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. Tell there your you fun nun story. It. Tell your fun story. It's a great story. story. It's Tell a great story about a nun story. decking someone. First yes. of all, um, though, did that feel good to say, all right, I'm wrong? I've already forgotten it. I've it's good to. I, I admitted it this way, so it's good to admit you're wrong. I'm okay. on board with Taylor now. I've m- moved on. You're on, you're into Tom Cruise again. Like, I am. Bang. We, we've all we've all made mistakes. We have. The important thing is how you react to them and brush yourself off. Yep. Oh, I think I reacted very well. Very very sane to that. <laughs> I'm very balanced human. Yes. <laughs> very balanced. That human. was your first mistake for for the like the last fifteen minutes of the show. It's been great. <laughs> Oh, that is so rude. Yeah, you're right. Let me round, I'll, I'll round it up to 20. You're right. That was a bit harsh of me. The first mistake in 20 minutes. Second. A French nun put her body on the line to prevent a climate protester who's concerned about the construction of a new church. This is great. So, <laughs> Pardon? This, is, this is great. It's great. This is great. This is great. Oh, no. Is this going to be one of those shows where I have to second guess, triple guess every single thing I say? Which is because we were too nice to each other yesterday, but now I could pile on you for a bit. Yeah. I had my fingers crossed the whole of yesterday's show, though. Um, (laughs) So these environmentalists, these climate protesters protesters were worried about the impact the church will have on the surroundings. So this nun from the church... She was seen chasing, chasing a protester and tackled the protester yes! to the floor. Look at that! Get it, this sister! nun fully decks him. Oh my God. <laughs> Literally, get it, sister. Get it, yes. sister. The nuns had to reportedly step in and form a human chain around one of the diggers because activists tried to tie themselves to the machinery. That is one Here bad habit. <laughs> Bravo, Look at that. my friends! Wow. I love that nun. Yeah, look, she's got a backpack on too. She's like Jermaine. Yeah, what's in her I backpack, know. do you think? Her <laughs> prayer beads? Nuns. It's not like you crashed like you're going. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're not prayer beads in Jermaine's backpack. Yeah, they're, oh, they're, they're, they're beads. They're, they're beads. beads. <laughs> <laughs> we all couldn't wait to say that. I know. <laughs> Anal beads. It was a race. <laughs> oh, and then this. Heard of it, Jermaine. That's really, whew. I know. <laughs> it's all right. You'll get over it. <laughs> Oh. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Used to be young. Yes, you did, Joel. Yes, you did. Oh, oh. so rude. <laughs> I, and I, and I, did you, I had my eyes closed and I was singing along. I was really in the moment. You were really, really were. songs. What? It's going to be on my playlist of the year. Would you, will you call it like um, used to be young, but like with an apostrophe instead of like the NG at the end? <laughs> used to be a youngin. <laughs> <laughs> like spinning I'm around. Gonna, I am going to snap at both. You know how you, you know how <laughs> you know how you say that. Um, what's the Adele song that you think is easy on me? It's written about easy you. Easy on me. Yeah, Adele yeah. wrote that song about me. Miley yes. wrote this song about you. Shoot, shoot, chugga, chugga, big red thirties. How rude! How rude! You, we all know how the hours are. Oh, now here's my song. It's actually, this is actually my funeral song. Um, the hours I, I spend a day trying to look younger. The amount of injectables yeah, the, 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 I've had in my face. The days pile That's... up, don't you? The calendar keeps on rocking through. All of a oh, sudden, it's, now it's, it's blinking. It's November, bro. No, it's one long, slow walk towards death. No, but I'm that's not... why it's funny because you do look so young. You look like a child. Yeah. Oh, this will make you. This will make you feel better, John. Ricky Lee, we are Hanson. Hello, Hello, Ricky. We want to say happy birthday. <sighs> happy 40th. 40th. Birthday. Man, we are, I'm right on the verge, just a couple months behind you. <laughs> that could have been the greatest moment of my whole it life. Will and be. You ruined it will be. It will be in like a month and a half. It's not a month and a half. It's oh my years, God. years away. Isn't the big 4 this year? Which no. is the best thing. <laughs> 
No. We should jump out of a cake for her. I know. You can be the four, I'll be the O. <laughs> I hate both of you. <laughs> you can be the big O. Yeah. <laughs> um, what about a little massage to calm your old nerves? I love a massage so much. All Insane. I wanted this morning was a, a foot massage. Ew. Really? Well, no, because I've been on my feet <laughs> and running around for weeks, <laughs> for years. <laughs> Foot massage. No, Gross. really, my feet are so sore from running around and mm-hmm. idle. And I did a gig in heels, and then last night I was at that event, and all I and I was in heels, and all I wanted was a foot massage today. Just and Rich said, rich. "Not today, Satan." <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you buy one of those little uh, koi pot? Are they koi ponds? Get the little fish to nibble your feet. Oh, I haven't done that. I, I couldn't. That's too much. <laughs> so gross. Remember, that's well, I went to a. Uh, I went and had a massage in a shopping centre recently and that woman came out crying before me. That's right. And she kept going, you were too strong. You you hurt me. And then I had to go in there with the same lady that supposedly hurt her. But massages in shopping centres, that's a whole different conversation. I like shopping centre massages. I was at an airport the other day and they, they had no, those chairs. No, no, no. Gross, gross, gross. But I had, I had chair, just done a gig and my legs and my calves and everything was so sore. All I wanted was to sit in that chair and Rich was like, absolutely If there was a photo of you in that chair, <laughs> you might have to find another job. I know. I know. I sent it to the Daily Mail and immediately. And I would have fallen asleep and definitely missed my flight. Um, but it's not as gross as this. This guy is an aeroplane boss yes. and he's been so slammed Mm -hmm. because there is a picture and footage of him having a massage during a meeting. Not one of those, you know, those... Oh, oh my God, he's shirtless. Right? I didn't realise he was shirtless. So it's not one of those... What were those people that used to come around, the 15-minute angels or something? Yeah, three-minute angels. Three-minute angels? Yeah. It's quick. Um, If if you book them heaps, they do 15-minute angels. (laughs) Totally. And they, you know, over over your shirt, they give you a little massage. This guy is is shirtless? Sitting in a boardroom, shirtless, during a meeting with his staff, having a massage half naked. And his boobies are out and everything. Oh, I know. <laughs> they're really just sitting above his gut. Oh, they're really, they're really that level there. of the level of boob on a man that just sits above the gut. Well, they yeah. have a bit, a bit of bounce to them. They would do. you have to lift quickly, them up? Have a bit of bounce would you have them? to lift them up to put soap like to soap under? You, yeah, he would. <laughs> and when he it's runs, gross. they'd bounce. Definitely. He, need, he needs a sports bra. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Oh, Heavy duty one. Um, Why is he? Is he well, okay. it's, it says here that getting a... Um, he posted the photo on LinkedIn saying that getting a half-naked massage, just so, so gross, <laughs> during a meeting was indicative of a great culture in the workplace. Do you think so? No. Uh, I don't think so. Not shirtless. We're not introducing that around here. I didn't think it was shirtless when we were talking about it. Either. I thought it was weird when we were talking about it before I saw that he like, was why, shirtless. Why is it an issue? Why is it funny mm. that he's having a massage at work? Yeah. Like, I mean, have, a, have a little have a little 15-minute one in, in your lunch break. Lay down, get the girl to come bring the bed. Face down. There you go. Yeah. Or go use the end of trip to relax like everybody else. <laughs> I like those chairs where you have to sit, you tuck your, you tuck your feet in underneath and then your face is in the hole. Oh, I yes. love them. Yeah, I love those like ones. Them. I hate all I massages. Them. Oh, yeah, because you're the most fidgety human on earth. I, I was in Thailand once and the lady spent 20 minutes here and I went... This, this is going to go for at least an hour. And she goes, oh, yes. <laughs> like, how lucky am I? I just got up. I said, all right, that's it. She goes, but you're not even. Oh. And I'm like, good. Oh, see, that would freak me out because then I'd ha- I feel like I have one l- loose left shoulder totally. and a tight right shoulder. Yeah, you've always got a tight right shoulder. Tight right. The old well, tight right. Are you right-handed? I've got some oh, yeah, you're right-handed. You're big tight. Oh, you're tight right. Come well, on, come on, come on, come on. Now touch me, I used baby. to play tennis competitively and built up the right side of my body. Oh, wow. Because I'm right-handed, I build up the right side of my body and that's the side that my scoliosis goes and my chiropractor said that's the worst thing you could possibly do for your body. But I was so into my tennis that I didn't give it up. Yeah, that's how you built it up. Yeah, when you're getting back into your tennis, you told me yesterday. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I'm going to buy a tennis racket on the weekend and join a tennis club because that's so bad. If only the story was that short yesterday. (laughs) Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. One more time, let's go, let's go. Night sucker, dream crusher, bleeding me dry like a damn vampires. <laughs> I had the album on the other day, I got really annoyed that it didn't do that. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't oh, the RTJ, RTJ's version. Oh, Rada. Gross. Come on. How dare she? Come on. Come on. Come on. What's your favourite song on the album? Um. Guts. Guts? 
Yeah, I that was it called the one that I like. Hang on, hang you on, hang on. One. You're putting me on. There's a well, song that sorry. I've been um, no, 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 humming around the place. If anyone's heard, mm, what that's is it? The one I like. Oh, cool. I think you like. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get him no, back. That's on. Not my no, I, like I think that's one I like. Yeah, I think that's one I like. I think I like logical. Logic, so, perhaps. There you go. Well, that's the logical answer. <laughs> <laughs> Quite like Ballad of a Homeschool Girl too, but I also like that title. And All American Bitch is a bit fun too. Okay. You bitch. You big man. <laughs> you big bitch. Suck it. <laughs> the Glossies. On screen. On screen. On screen. Let's check in with the world of Glossies. Lots happening today. Oh, oh. that's um, Billie Eilish. Sure is. And she got and a new, what, Joel? A new job? No. Nope. No. Nope. Guess again. Uh, think think, ben, think from- ben Affleck. New boyfriend? No, I think Ben Affleck's back. Oh, I, I'm not across Ben Affleck. I think you know how he has a huge. Is it a phoenix tattoo or a dragon? And oh, J-Lo, he's not one of mine. The phoenix before, tattoo. Before him oh. and JLo got married, got back together and got married, yeah. there was some interview she did where she made fun of his, yeah. his back tat. Oh, and sure now like. they're back together and she has to say that every morning. Well, Billie Eilish, Gross. allegedly, this looks real, but she's not confirmed if it's real or not. But this, <gasps> I know. Oh That's hectic. Isn't it? Duh. That's a huge tattoo on her back. A full like spine back tattoo. The tat. smudge stuff. I think this is the smudge stuff. At least not real. Like at least can they? Can you wipe that off? Well, you're the only one here that's had a tattoo. Yeah. So what happens when they, well, they wipe do, off the? Is, well, they're constantly wiping. They go. Did it? Wipe. Wipe. It looks. It just looks messy, doesn't it? Oh yeah. So it looks very Lionel. Yeah. And all like the little blood spats on the side. Is yeah. that blood is that or part is that? Of it? Oh, Billy, it's, I don't know if I'm liking this. It feels for you, like Billy. the Ed Sheeran thing. Like, remember when he put that picture of him with the line on his chest and I remember, well, that's got to be fake. And then it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> that's yeah. a lot. That, I wonder how long that would have taken. Ages. And hours and hours. It's very dangerous. A lot of nerves down there, you know, that you keep. Ooh. Anyway, um, uh, thank you, Billy. Um, it goes from the nape of her. What? The, yeah, from her neck to the. The yeah, nape. her neck, her neck to her nape. <laughs> oh. Am I saying that right? Well, isn't the nape from the nape here? of her neck? Isn't to that her the, lower na- the nape is just here? Yeah, yeah. Where na- the nape, nape works down on level three, doesn't he? <laughs> the nape's always Sometimes at the pub. Pops up. Oh, bloody <laughs> nape! No, in his little RMs, he comes trot, trot, trotting down in his RMs yeah, in his tight jeans, yeah. so his oh. belt buckles, and a a tight, quite a tight shirt <laughs> also. Hey, Tight oh, shirt, yeah. tight he's jeans, a, tight belt, a, tight shoes. He's, he's a, a tight, tight and tidy man, oh. mate. Loosen up. When he gets home at the end of the day, do you reckon he just like goes? I don't like, think he does. No, no? I reckon, he's he, always I reckon on the go. he methodically hangs up his outfit. Probably. Mm. And then he probably has like some perfect sleepwear too, with little sleeping RM booties. Serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> and the only person in in this area, like as in our team, that would yeah. use an iron, I'd say. Oh, and yeah. I and I say that. Like, who uses an iron? I buy clothes that don't need ironing on yeah, purpose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. Who, who has time for ironing? Who wants to Nate, iron? Nate, uh, Nate. Nate does. He stays up till the crack of dawn. What do you Jermaine. iron? Oh, Jermaine. Oh, you'd iron your undies, do you iron? which also means you've hooked up do with you iron? Iron? Yeah, you iron your socks too, don't you? Do you Just your pants? Socks, what do you iron? Oh, you're so cute. His shirt. Do you iron pleats in your pants? Your pants. Oh, I love it. That's adorable. Okay, next That's what he's doing is. instead of our whip. Let's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. more emailing. Oh, this is Gwyneth Paltrow. Is this um, the story about how she keeps her Oscar as a doorstop? Well, that no, that's from a while ago, but she does. What a is... beautiful Academy Award. My doorstop. <laughs> it works perfectly. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, um, this is new. Oh, is this about? This is, she, she doesn't have. She doesn't want to be famous anymore. She doesn't. She wants to oh. disappear from the public life. Not quite. Is this about um, uh, her and, when her and Chris Martin broke up? Well, yes. She's admitted that she researched how other people um, whose parents have divorced to help decide how she would approach the separation with um, with her kids, which I think is a great it's idea. Very clever. Because uh, she was the first person to consciously uncouple. That's right. That was her big key And word. she wanted to find out from people who came from um, who were children. trauma. Of, yeah, yeah. To find out what was so bad about it for them as kids so that she and Chris could make sure that their relationship together and with their kids that's after right. they got divorced stayed good now, and that, healthy that's nice. I'm for not sure the sake it, of the kids, which is really nice. She's embracing her 50s too. And this is the hottest yeah, no, exactly. photo shoot I've ever seen. And oh she's my gosh, it's incredible. in Australia next week, don't forget. Oh, that's I right. I saw Jackie O preparing She's not wearing any undies in that photo. No, she's not. Ah! Oh, Queenie. I know, right? Shakespeare in love indeed. That's what you want to ask her for. You know she was pregnant with Moses during that film. I know. I love that film. Yeah, it's so good, that movie. Mm. And I think she just gave up acting after that. She's like, oh, yeah, whatever. She said, I'll do some stuff my husband's in. 
Yeah, I hope the husband makes stuff. Yeah. 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 Next class, he plays. Good What's round. happening here? Oh, oh this is Britney Spears. I don't know. This could be one of she's, 11 billion stories. She's back um, with the knives again, Joel. You yeah, have a listen oh, to this. It sounds like she's sharpening them. Listen to this. That's how I sharpen my knives. <laughs> While no, dancing babe, no. in the kitchen in a bikini. She's also changed her name on Instagram. Oh, what is she now? Because wasn't there some River Red or something? Maria River Red. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And she also got a new dog called Snow. Okay. I worry it's... about her because now she's, well, I know she's got security and all of that, but she's in that house all by herself. And, and the, the book comes the out. The book comes out next week. Um, last I mean, that's going to be, you know. That's going to be a great read. Yeah. <laughs> is that Jean Al- Janine Ellis from Boost Juice? <laughs> <laughs> it's Cheryl Crow. <laughs> oh, I thought it was Janine from Ooh, It does look a bit like Janine. It does. Um, it really does. No, she's admitted that her teen kids don't think she's cool. They're more into sport, which I guess that's fair. I mean, if it, this is your mum. Um, Cheryl is a nine-time Grammy winner and was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame this year. She's not cool enough for her kids. Nope. It was like the Food Fighters when I spoke to them um, when they played that Geelong gig the day before that. Oh, yeah, Because it was right. like summer break or something, spring break in the US, a lot of them said to their teen kids, jump on the jet, come out to Australia for oh. a couple of days. They're all like, nah. Like, nah. <gasps> oh I'm gosh. like, you don't even have to watch us. Just come out. Like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave you with this. Quick draws coming up. Yeah. Take this job and shut Stick me, I'm done. Wow. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yes. On over. Yeah. We called it on Tuesday. So it feels even <laughs> more like the weekend. Now, welcome to it. After knockoff time, tools are down. I see you've greeted our quick draw guest. I know. Our quick draw guest smells delicious and always does. Let me guess. Like rose water? Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Bang. We're divine human. I picked I'm the excited. scent. We should do that. Yeah. Set the secret scent. Oh, oh. Mm. there's a few. There's mm-hmm. a few that wouldn't go the right way. No. The secret scent. Secret oh, smell. No, I just know some real stinky celebrities. Is what I mean. Oh yeah. yeah Speaking yeah. of stinky, no offense if anyone's listening, but there were so many smelly people at Australian Idol. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I have to talk to every like, everyone before they walk into the room, who, and it's who's you know there's more Amy or Marsha. Well, no, <laughs> not them. No, they're, they're nervous, nervous and, and it's like the biggest moment of their whole lives. And I'm, you know, we're about to feed them to the wolves, yeah. and it's them and all their family, and there's there's, there's some stinkers out there. Oh yeah, well, what like, stink? What the big oh, stink? The, the big stink? The biggest stinking celebrity I ever met was Orlando Bloom. Oh, that's oh. right. Woo. B.O. stink? Like it, or, all of it. All the body, all the things that the mm, body is making naturally. Yuck. I could smell it next to me. That's when he was going out with um, MK. He's very yuck. holistic, isn't he? You're like, you'll need a Rexona crystal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need something more hardcore than that. Quick draw, guess. Working. Not far away, we'll do that soon. But up next, Band for Life. It's a classic, but we're going to do it after posting. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. It's coming cold. That feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, when you mm. just, you just come off the back of an actual good song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you can't let go. I had a good, and a good. I've, I've 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 consumed something because it's a national day today. Okay. We're going to talk about that in a second. We're probably going to give our guest one as well. But I've just oh, had a little wow. sampler, and it was delicious. That's all okay. I'll say. That's yeah. all I'll say. All right. Only the best for this guest. Yep. Of course. It's Sarah Lee mm. Carrot Cake. Top shelf. <laughs> hey, I love John Sarah Lee really Carrot Cake. Don't. That. I know. Don't. This, is a, this has been a hard it's day been a for hard me. day for Sarah Lee <laughs> fans today. Because who knew people aren't buying frozen desserts like they used to? They've gone into, they've gone into what you call it. Oh, Receivership. I'm so sorry, Receivership. Joel. I know, and I love the Sarah Lee Carrot Cake. It is a staple of my freezer. It's like oh. the headline act of my freezer. It is. What are you going to replace her with? Oh, I don't know. Probably bananas that I'm never going to get around to making into banana bread. <laughs> I heard a guy on the radio today, though, because they were talking about, like, why aren't frozen desserts as popular as they used to be? And the guy from Sierra Lee's like, oh, you know, ice cream's really big. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Because I guess when I was a kid, we just had the Peter's ice cream, right? That was really it. Whereas yep. now every every cool suburb you go to, there's a so gelatissimo. So many different ones. I'm like, yeah, I know. I get it. I get it. Um, mm. 
Anyway, I, look, they're not, it's not over yet for them. Not they're over yet. No, I, I, maybe I should buy it. I think they're, they're, on the, I think they're based on together. the Central Coast, aren't they? I'll help you out. Let's go. Let's do okay. this together. Yeah, we'll see. Let's go we'll home. Home. <laughs> Yeah, deal. I'm not investing in that. No one's eating frozen desserts. All that sinking <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, you know what I'll invest in? Because I think this place is going to boom. Okay. Yeah. Las Vegas. Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> Put it all on black. Yes, of course. Well, a bunch of Aussie blokes are just headed over there for a boys' weekend. It's actually a birthday trip. And um, they were there. They got evicted, arrested and banned oh. for life All three. from five casinos. Right? They had such a good time. That's us if we ever go over, if we get to go over for Kylie. Oh, look how chaotic oh they God, are. Look at them. Anyway, they extended their time because one of them went to jail. None of them were wearing shirts. None of them were wearing shirts. Look, one of them is now in a wheelchair. <laughs> Amazing. And the trip turned out totally sure. chaotic. I think we've got some audio. Yeah, I don't do. know. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We don't even have a hotel. But we were meant to get flights out four days ago. <laughs> so we've stayed an extra four nights because the boys are in jail for two of those nights. So <laughs> we had to wait to get the boys out, obviously. So only Cam and I left. Paddy Nick's got robbed like 4000 Australian dollars with <laughs> right. a gun in his face. We're down bad, but we're loving it. <laughs> the bloke in the bucket hat I recognise. Where are they from? <laughs> They're... I don't know where they're from, but they didn't explain why one of them went to jail. No, but where in Australia they were actually are they from? banned. I don't know. New Sydney. Oh. Um, they sound like they're, they're Queenslanders. Um, don't but get by angry the end with me, trip, please. The, <laughs> no, I was giving no, you an don't answer. Don't get angry I was with me, you. I felt like you got a little fight, bit angry fight, with me then. Fight, fight, fight. The only big casino they weren't banned from was MGM. <laughs> I heard you whispering that's the, something. That's the Bogan Casino. Oh, you know, and that's where David Copperfield lives because I went to his house. That's right. Yeah. And what, did he do, didn't he do something really creepy or yeah, weird? Yeah, magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, magic. Magic's for losers. No. <laughs> unless, comedy, unless, you're, unless you're a comedy kid. Comedy hypnotism. Uh, comedy hypnotism is oh, even weirder. Comedy songs. Comedy songs. Oh, I don't oh, know. Oh, the oh casino. If only I could sing, I could close every single one of my comedy shows with a song. Oh, you know you what you should that. do? I, you know what I've, I've always thought would be really funny is if you do a, like, go to a stand up and they have a guitar sitting on a stand for the whole thing and you, and the audience just goes, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. And, but you never play it and you never refer to it. Oh, yeah. I can't do that. I might do that next time. I know you guys don't love Adam Sandler, but have you seen his one where he goes, where he does his stand up and he like, Sings no. all the time. Nope. <laughs> it's so good. I doubt it. It's really good, and he does Adam one for Sandler Chris Farley. Hang on, I'm yes. Just, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, and he no, sings I hear, songs. I hear it's, terrible. About, it's so good. It's really good. This is what worries me about Ricky sometimes. This one called Phone Wallet Keys. <laughs> oh, no, the things you watch. Phone Wallet Keys. Let me guess. He does this. Phone Wallet Keys. Not looking Wakes for up it. a song about the things that you always need to take when you leave the house. I hate it so much. <laughs> Get us out of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who sings this? Oh. Oh, Madonna. 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 Yes. Okay. Well, we are going to meet our quick draw guest next. How very exciting. That's what he's doing instead of our whip. <laughs> Less signing more emailing. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Uh. This is a song by Snoop Dogg called Snoop. Gin and Juice. Mm, how appropriate. But Joel Creasy, today is an international day of sorts. It's International Gin and Tonic Day. And we thought we'd bring our quick draw guest in a little early because I know who loves gin and tonic more than anyone. Kate Langbrook. Hello, beautiful. Oh, Cheers. Clink. Cheers. Cheers. How Cheers. stunning. Oh, so good to see you. So, and it's nice to have someone in my studio with me, having some company. Yeah, otherwise, of course, you're doing what you'd normally do every night at home. You're drinking alone. <laughs> <laughs> and, and except instead of watching Jennifer Aniston, he's watching you. <laughs> I know. Oh, my, much preferred. Oh, mm. what series is it? Morning Wars Season 3. My dog loves Jennifer Aniston because they've both got great hair. Sure, I heard I heard that. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> that. that was the podcast. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that, that show is more morning yawns. That is the worst show on television. Well, hang on. I, can I say that it jumped the shark yes. when oh. they sent oh, yeah. Steve Carell to Italy? <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. Babe, in the new season, yeah. they send Jennifer Aniston to space. What? They send Jennifer Aniston what? to space. The no, no, you're mixed up. You've I'm been not. watching Sandra Bullock in that <laughs> astronaut <laughs> movie. <laughs> 
Kate Laybrook, lovely to see you. You're going to be here for Quick Draw next. But we'll yes. pretend we didn't meet you just then and then have a gin and tonic Okay, introduce us again. Okay. <laughs> right now, though, it's time for another Abanga. Another Abanga. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On It's Rima and Selena and the Calm Down. Let's meet officially now our next Quick Draw guest. Our next guest is a comedian, radio and television presenter. We actually have a shared history. She used to see Nova. Fusey and Kate. Nova 100. But has since moved on to other interests. I'm Kate. I'm colourful. Much like the contestants on her latest show, My Mum, Your Dad. Who your parents date, it's all in your hand. Please welcome Kate Langley. Yeah. Yeah. The Queen. The Queen. She's here. And how's this for an intro song? Remember when you and I saw MGMT together? Oh, yes, I do. I do. And it was not the most stellar performance, Ricky Lee. Really? What was was what happened? Well, that was when the world kind of discovered that they weren't a great live act. Oh. Oh. They're a studio act. Studios. Oh, it really, yeah, you can't really hide. Once you're on stage and there's a crowd there, there's no hiding. Well, they wanted to. Whereas you... My hot fandangled sister <laughs> in all things celebratory are oh. astounding on stage. I was Thank at an you. event that you were at. Oh my god. She's got pipes. Oh, she's got everything. I know. Yeah. She got oh. everything. She got you. too much. She's got every show and too many things. <laughs> <laughs> so many things. And she gets up there and shakes her buzzies in the sequins on stage. Oh, it was a very it. fun night. That was a that was a great a great night, a great room, a great room to perform it to. It was. It was. Mm. Oh, well, it wasn't a room you were expecting to be a, a great night, boys, <laughs> because it was, where Mark, it was a cancer charity where, where, where and it Joel ended up I? being a beautiful celebratory. Yeah, okay. It was. Like, you know, one of those nights Loving. where there's emotion and it kind of makes everyone alive, you know? Yeah. Well, everybody, people are dead inside. Totally. Oh, absolutely. But everyone was just there to celebrate. There was a couple of girls up the front who had been going through treatment mm-hmm. and yeah. I went down on there, on the, grabbed them, took them out on the dance floor and everyone surrounded us and yeah. we were dancing. It was just so It's so weird great. though when you have those pairings, isn't it? Because it's like on the Logies when like the news win the award. Like, Congratulations, the award goes to the Bali bombing. Yes. Oh, yes. No. <laughs> do, do, do I clap? <laughs> yes, that, that's right. But that's Everyone's like the, <laughs> the eternal debate. Do I like that? Yeah. Do I put like, my dog just died. I, I had to go, do it like. I know. And does a love heart emoji yes. suggest that I'm really, like, enjoy, loving it too much? <laughs> well, it was 30 years since my grandfather passed. Love it. Like. <laughs> um, how's your often not. Yeah, I was just going to say they're often not even related. I've got friends, gays, who just upload hot photos of themselves and then like, oh, and it's my grandma's anniversary oh. today. And like, that doesn't... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's oh, like that TV oh. presenter lady that we know that will remain nameless that lays on the rocks on a bikini going, thinking of mum today. Yeah. <laughs> no. Who does that? Oh, yeah. I can't say Give who Give us some is. clues. No, I'm Give not us a clue. Do that. Uh, Are they Australian? Uh, yeah, very. Yeah, that's why I'm not no, saying their name. Too quick. <laughs> Who says they're lying on rocks uh, thinking of mum? No, no, tonight? no. So there's a photo of them on a bikini, like in a bikini, <laughs> right. like on a Bronte, a Bronte beach or something. Go thinking of mum today. Sydney, we've narrowed it down. Sydney. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, let's talk about my mum, your dad, <laughs> premiering at 7:30 on Tuesday, wow, Tuesday week yes. on Halloween night. It is how appropriate. <laughs> spooky, spooky. Oh, to see parents kissing. <laughs> I mean, is anything spooky than that? Trick or treat? It's both. <laughs> is it such a wonderful concept of a show? It really is. I adore it, and I'm a, I'm just constantly amazed at how like I get goosebumps and I get really? angry and I get thrilled and I believe in love again which after 20 years of marriage and it's just your rider backstage <laughs> no it's really great and this series because last series that for people who don't know they it's parents who are match made by their kids yes adult kids and <laughs> The yeah, kids if my four year old first... tried to yeah. set me up with someone, it would be very different. <laughs> oh, I would be Dorothy the dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. And the red wiggle. You'd be punching. <laughs> and and you'd love that. <laughs> yeah, so would. Anyway, so, but the kids were secretly watching them last series and so this series were like, What's gonna happen? Because everyone knows now that yeah. the kids are watching. But it seems to have made not a jot of difference. Really? Well, you know, when you watch reality TV, you're always like, how can people do this in front of the cameras? Mm. But something you just forget. It's like 
forgetting the microphones on. Yeah. Well, who's who's the lady? Who's the lady who lies on the rocks, Tim? Who's the lady from Bronte? I'm not going to say who it is because she obviously she's lost her mum and she's upset about it. And yeah. she's laying on the rocks like? pondering. <laughs> thinking about mum. Yeah, pondering. <laughs> ripped ass. Anyway, it's, a great, it's actually a great series and when I was doing the voiceovers for it, I got goosebumps. Really? Oh, yes. that's so nice. I'm in the studio. It's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> so when Ricky does her uh, voiceovers at Idol, you oh, get 100%. goosebumps too. It has to be yes. cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a very yeah. cold studio in here. We're Dave because David Letterman always used to keep his studio super cold, so the audience Famously. would never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and the you, audience would never get bored. Well, oh, no, but it, it just keeps you Try on your feet. Try doing a shorter show. <laughs> totally. I think it's for the brain. But you I were just talking, Kate, about that Kyle use, has really freezing cold air con. And, Famously and cold. We've just done a week of filming and literally the, the, the studio, Marsha and Amy have hot water bottles and, and yeah. heaters. <laughs> Jax and has got a heater under her desk Hectic. because the studio is so cold. So oh cold. Wow. Well, I apologise that mine was a bit... Muggy in here when you when came I in. came in here, I'm like, am I in Denpasar? <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the gin best. and tonic on arrival. I, I mean, it was all very tropical. No, it's cooled down a bit now. And though. you think you get ripped off at any minute? <laughs> <laughs> I was scared to change money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now we, we've had you on the show before, but you've never played quick draw. So let me go through the rules. And in fact, not. in fact, no, never. And I'm really nervous about it. Let's get the Prime Minister Anthony Albanese to deliver the rules. I'm Anthony Albanese, and these are the official quick draw rules. Tim will give a category and a letter. The first to yell out a correct answer gets a point. The first answer you yell out is locked in. Best out of seven wins. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Yes. Yes, yes, Wow. Yes. Well, as you know, the nation voted no to that. So you want to get someone else to, to give you, do your intro, I think. Oh. Who would you suggest? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's do a practice question, then come back for real. Joel, okay. you are playing, You're... Kate, and Ricky, you mm. are scoring. Okay, I've got my little score Okay, card so... Here. All right. You, you'll get the gist I just can yell the, it out. It, yeah, no, no, I know out. how it works. I've heard it. And I've always been like, I could totally win that. But now that I'm in the seat, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all kind of... Oh. Yes. Bring it on, baby. And Joel's quick. Oh, no. Joel is quick. Easy. You are oh, quick and you don't, have, you don't have the it's delay. It's to, to me too. <laughs> <laughs> This is the practice question. They're going to come right. back and play for real. Name something you lie to your parents about, starting with S. Sex. Yes. What have we started? That was a that was the practice. Oh, that was practice. Oh, I'll stand for the oh, real game. I miss Don't doing radio. I'm standing oh, yeah. too. <laughs> I miss doing radio with you. It's, what? What are we doing just... here? <laughs> Look, you know what? Goldfish, goldfish. <laughs> We're play... well, everything's always fresh to me. <laughs> like I didn't think I was ever on the show for very long. I've been there five years. Like... Ricky, this <laughs> really annoys <laughs> him. <laughs> it really annoys him where he he'll mention when we did the show together at here at Nova, yeah. me, Husey and him, and I'll mention something. He goes, I oh, know, I was there. And I'm like, were you doing the show then? Yeah. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. God, stop making me repeat my offensive joke. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? I can't That's say it again. Okay. I don't hear colour. Okay, we just we had go. a very hectic chat about fast colour. food. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kate Lanebrook is here and just asked Ricky, oh. are you into junk food? And I'm like, well, uh, we're on. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel's Quick Draw. We love you. Kate Lanebrook is here. My mum, your dad, is premiering at 7.30pm Tuesday after you trick or treat with your it's family. so... Good, I promise, actually. I you know, wait. people always say. Mm-hmm. Of course. No, I'll be but watching. this is genuinely properly good. Yeah. I'll watch it on Nine Now, you know, so I can <laughs> really watch it in my <laughs> own time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Do whatever you like in the privacy of your own <laughs> home. He does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a terrifying thought. So I've heard. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Now, um, Joel, you're playing Kate, um, oh, and we're raring to go. We are oh, raring. I haven't no. played in a while. I have never played. <laughs> okay, well, okay. All right. I think you're going to be I've great at this. I've never played. No, you don't understand. I mean, Ricky, I've got four kids, and there's a thing about mum brain now. Yeah, it's busy up there. It's busy uh, up there, and, huh? But also, it's busy, but also like an abandoned building. <laughs> How can <laughs> both things? Like, when I say it's busy, it's with squatters hanging yeah, out the yeah, front. Yeah, graffiti. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I shall do my best. 
<laughs> What's at stake, Timmy? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. We've already given My the show dignity. a plug. So yes, um, you've won already. So that's yeah. it. All right. See ya. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Monday, Tuesday the 31st. <laughs> Tuesday the 31st, 7.30 p.m. or 9 now. Go, you know what you should do between now and Halloween? Go and watch. Is, it, is it this season two the new one? Yes. So go and watch season and the, one if you um, haven't seen it on nine now. And you know what happens? Yeah. You get the gist. Sorry? Because of the writers' strike, they're yeah. now showing it in the UK. <gasps> Oh, at the original series. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Mm. going to have to get over there. Oh, lap it up. Yeah, and watch me sell from a hotel room in Kensington. <laughs> yeah. I can't walk down Regent Street these days. Oh, my God. Yes, it is me. It's Kate Langbrook. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Are you on Coronation Street? No, I'm on my mum, your dad. <laughs> God, they're sad sacks. Okay, question number one. Oh, <laughs> that's but that's why they're such faithful TV viewers. They really We've are. We've forgotten how comforting television is. Yeah. It's beautiful. It really oh, is. I know. Bring back in television. the days when we could turn it on. <laughs> yes. Now you can't. We moved house, and now I literally had to have an hour long lesson on how to turn on the television. Oh, no. What you get a new TV and a new remote or something? Yeah, and just some new husband. Oh. <laughs> I think yeah. I heard from your husband the light switches don't even work. Do they work at least? It's like a haunted house. <laughs> oh, my God. How fabulous. Goodness. Trick or treat. Here we go. Question number one okay. is best of seven. Joel Oh, my gosh. Name okay. something you do in the morning starting with E. Eat, Eat breakfast. Break. Oh, Joel. <laughs> I'm just going to say what you said. I, I was going to say egg. You can say egg. You can no, egg no, in the morning. That's not what you do. Well, but that's all okay. right. Because all right. You, um, that was a warm up. If you're right. in first... We're pretty liberal over here. Yeah, I realise that yes. because I realise there's a strategy to this. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Question number two. Name something you give as a gift starting with J. Jewels. Yes, Kate. Oh. Da, da, da. See ya. Such a bungee. I don't know See, why. quick six. You, you just got to get in there. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. You should start wearing okay. jewellery, Joel. <laughs> I know he'd look really nice in a necklace. Oh yeah, as opposed to like whatever that is. Why? Oh, because they're jealous. It's nice, but it's nice that team. you wear that since your nana died. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and congratulations, the tsunami. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> question number three. Name something that makes you smile, starting with P. P. Penis. What? Penis. Is it P to your husband's name? <laughs> penis. What is, penis. What did you say? Can we get a replay? Dan? No, don't replay it. What did you say? Or who was in well, first? Because Ricky said, just say the first that, thing. That was perfect. That starts with P. It makes you happy, sister. Okay, Get let's on have there. a listen. Let's have a listen. Penis. Penis. <laughs> Penis. I think Joel was just in first. Joel, was I he? thought you would have said that. Joel was in. I know. I lost brand. But he me. did. He picked me at the post, which oh. didn't make me happy. Perfect. But we all <laughs> now know what does. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, KFC oh. time. KFC <laughs> turns out the zinger. It does. Um. No drumsticks or thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Too greasy. What do you get? Oh, I like that weird, I don't even know what it's called, but you know that weird central breast piece? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I love that. If it's not too dry, I should adore it. And <laughs> I love a wing. you suck on the bone? You love a wing? I do. Oh, no, so wings are overrated to me. Oh, this is a lot of oh because you don't like bones. Too much Because work. you know what? I'm a gatherer, you're a hunter. Okay. <laughs> and I had it. to learn <laughs> to love the bones. <laughs> Some people might say I love them too much. Well, you know from your last answer. <laughs> <laughs> Question number four. Name something you'd find on a cruise starting with D. D, D dickhead. What? Dickhead. D <laughs> a dickhead or a dickhead? dickhead. Oh, Hang on, oh, Dad. I don't think you're going to take his answer. I think you're a bit late there, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> it's all greasy. I okay. for effort, but that was... That, Super late. Did you that say dickheads? Yeah, because lots of dickheads on cruises. Okay, that means. And lots of wonderful people too. <laughs> Kate, <laughs> you like. Have, like. Kate, you What's have to get this next lost? one to stay in the game. Otherwise, oh, it's I all Joel. To me, it's already all over. No, don't talk No, like don't that. give up on yourself. <laughs> come on, Kate. I believe in you. I need something motivational like that. You, God, we come on. in 30 seconds. Okay, <laughs> good. I'm ready to go. Name a company in voluntary administration starting with S. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> she is. And also, by the way, that you're a you you like the carrot cake. Yeah, the carrot cake, uh, yeah. But the chocolate cake is stunning. Oh, sorry. and the banana cake. With that cake. icing, I haven't tried the banana oh, cake. I don't like vegetables in cakes. Oh, okay. is the chocolate cake in the it's freezer? Right. Is the chocolate cake in the freezer? Also in the freezer, but you take it out, Tim, and then this don't amazing ever call me thing just happens. Tim, that's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Is, oh my God! Is you it can a draw? you can tie it up if you get this next one right, Kate. Mm-hmm, there you go. Name something. You know you... what? If I get it right, you can tie me up regularly. <laughs> Any day of the week, sister. I'll be Name so happy. Something you fold, starting with S. Sheets. Oh, Joel. Oh. I think he got it. Joel. Oh, the job. Yes. 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 Oh, Congratulations. Oh, You'll sorry, have to come no. back. You'll have to come back. You'll have to come back. Yeah, you'll have to come back and redeem yourself. We love you, Katie. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Love you. Your love show love you. is on Halloween, October 31. My mum, your dad. Check it out. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. For Friday, Friday, Friday. Bye. Bye. Bye.